So endometriosis surgery is certainly evolving. We're learning more techniques in order to treat it. Ablation surgery or um, burning or cauterizing the endometriosis lesions is also known as ablation surgery. That's when a surgeon would go in and, and touch the area that they identify as endometriosis with a cautery device. Excision surgery is going through and removing these lesions rather than burning them and leaving them inside your body. By excising the lesion, we know how deep the lesion goes and the extent that it's affecting your body and therefore able to remove the disease itself. The gold standard of treatment for endometriosis is surgical excision, removing the disease from your body. In order to prepare for endometriosis surgery, it's very important to be not only physically prepared, but also mentally prepared. At Pelvic Rehabilitation Medicine, we do have a Thriving with Endo course put on by Dr. Mill Spa, and it walks you through your preoperative planning and, and postoperative planning. This preoperative planning is, is a conversation with both myself and the patient, just talking through, answering questions, making sure that the patient feels very comfortable before they go into surgery about all aspects of, of their care, both their preoperative planning, their planning during surgery, and also their postoperative course. After endometriosis excision surgery, um, you'll wake up with small incisions on your abdomen. The largest incision is usually um, in your belly button, and then you should have two to three small incisions elsewhere on your abdomen, closed with rather tape or sutures underneath the skin. You may notice feeling sore, especially the first 24, 48 hours. You'll work with your anesthesiologist and your surgeon regarding um, when it's appropriate to eat, but usually I want my patients up and walking even the same day, um, moving around as much as they can in order to help keep those muscles loose and relaxed. So after surgery, you'll be in communication with your surgeon or me. I always call my patients the next few days to check on them and make sure they don't have any questions and that they're healing appropriately at home. Usually you have a post-operative visit at about four weeks. During this time though, you're, you're enrolled in the Thriving with Endometriosis course. And so you're prepared for, for managing kind of some of the post-operative concerns, not only physically, but also your mental health as well. With excision surgery, we know that it is the gold standard because we have better uh, fertility rates, we have a longer improvement of pelvic pain and a decreased chance of endometriosis recurring. For more information on pelvic pain conditions and treatments, visit our website at pelvicrehabilitation.com.